What's up, Snake fans? Dave Palumbo here for Muscle Serpents Daily, and I got my son Logan in the it's back. It's raining. It's raining. We're gonna go check out some snakes today, and uh, we have to pull a clutch uh, from the other day that I forgot, and it's in there. It's an albino and clutch. Pablo left it. No, Pablo told me about it, but I didn't pull it, so it's both of our faults. We both didn't see it, but uh, actually, he saw it, told me about it. I never pulled it, so but the these snakes should be fine. Uh, we'll take a look at her eggs in a little bit. I also want to take a look at the Mystique boa clutch that's shed out and try to solve some of the mystery surrounding them because there's a lot of genes floating around that I just don't know what I'm looking at. So we're going to take a look at that as well. And I'm going to show you a really weird one off like ball python we hatched out that was dead, unfortunately, but it's really weird looking. So take a look at that as well. Let's head. What are you eating there, Logan? A pop tart. A pop -tart. Oh my God. That's not healthy, is it? The kids, any, they can eat anything, right? He's, he's like a fat burning machine, this kid. All right, let's go take a look at these snakes. We got my son Logan here and I, we found a clutch of eggs. Pablo did not recognize the clutch of eggs. <laughs> no. And he, and he left it he, there the whole night. Well, no, he told me and I never pulled them. So we got to pull these eggs out. And there's a beautiful albino that was bred to a scaleless head. Egg! I think pastel. There's eggs, that's right. And she, she's been sitting on these eggs for all night and she kept them nice and, look how nice these eggs are. She kept them nice and moist. And this one's a little dry because it wasn't in the stack. And then we got a couple, three sluggers here, but not too bad. So this it beautiful albino slugger. is gonna produce, hopefully we're gonna get some nice scaleless head um, albinos. They're really, when you get a scaleless head albino, they have a lot more contrast, Dad, Dad, a lot more pop. No, you're not playing with slugs right now. We're I gonna. Hold the what do we do with the eggs when we turn the lights off? Uh, we um, see if, if veins are in there. Right, we got to see if the vessels are in there. That's what we got to do now. Let's do it. I, I, All right, there's the beautiful mama. She did a great job. She uh, had about four. It looks like four good eggs. Hi. I think. We got Logan here in the back helping no, me. No, I. He always got to get in the video. All right. Everyone knows you're here helping. You help scrape the tubs and clean them. And now we uh, we got the snake. We put her in a new cage. She's in a new tub. She's nice and clean. We're going to clean her her uh, hide box and her water bowl. And we're going to leave her. She has some really nice size in her. So this is a very mature female. So it doesn't surprise me that she doesn't look all emaciated. You know, she's had egg laid clutches for me before. She I always delivers. Her. Logan and I just candled these eggs. And three of them look really good. One of them has vessels, but this thing was not... She was not sitting on it. It's a little dried out. I don't know if it's going to go the whole way. I'd be shocked. If, the, if this egg makes it all the way, I'd be very surprised. So these three look pretty good. Hopefully we'll be able to get some albino scaleless heads uh, down the road. 60 days. Let's put this in the incubator and get these things well hydrated. All right. We had a, uh, a one egg clutch that didn't survive. But I want to show you this, this, this baby because it's kind of really interesting. This was a leopard blackhead pie. Het lavender bred to a lavender het pied. So obviously we didn't get any lavender. This is, like I said, it was a one baby clutch. I don't know what, I, the, the snake looks a little kink, but it, it really, look at this pattern. What the, what the heck is going on here? This looks like a Burmese python or reticulated python pied. Have you ever seen a ball python pied that only has like white underneath like that? And what's this pattern? Where is this coming from? Because, you know, as far as I know, leopard blackhead pieds are usually very high white pieds. And they don't have this much pattern. I don't know, is this a paradox of some sort? Obviously, we won't know because the snake is not making it. And we're not going to be able to breed it. I'm going to obviously have to repeat the pairing next year. But that's that's weird. You know, like I said, if, I don't, if anyone else has seen anything like this, let me know. I mean, maybe I'm just not... I mean, first of all, I don't even... What's this pattern here? This is really crazy, This 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 top pattern. I've never seen anything like this on a uh, on a snake. I may have to show Travis Wyman this and see what he thinks about this. Look at this little circle too on the, on the back here, right in the neck. That is weird. I, w I would swear this was a Burmese python pied if, if I didn't know any better, but it's not. Really, really weird. Unfortunately, it didn't make it. So we'll have to wait till next year. There's always next year, as they say. <laughs> I have a very nasty female here. And she's got no reason to be nasty because she gave their birth weeks ago. She just happens to be a nasty female. My son is scared. This is our triple head. 
het blood, het leopard, and het Gilbert T positive. Okay, and she's a dwarf. She produced a beautiful litter of snakes. She, we bred her to that super onyx hypo. We produced mystiques, which are the allelic combination of the leopard and onyxes. But we also produced a lot of snakes that are unexplainable at this point. So we're going to have to try to figure out and take a look at this litter. And no, we don't. And we're going to figure out or try to figure out at least why it is that we got what we got. And this might take several videos. It might take several years to figure out. It might we might have to wait to breed these things out? But we will try to put clues together and figure out what we got. I'm going to leave her alone. <laughs> she doesn't like me. She's in a very bad mood. All right, this is the male that I was uh, in question, which is a super onyx hypo. We've proven that out. But he also has potentially had blood and he's also potentially had Honduran T positive. We've known this, but I have not had any inkling that uh, either one has proven out. As a matter of fact, I bred him to a hypo blood and I didn't get any visual blood. So I, I kind of dismissed, even though it was only a four or five uh, boa litter, I kind of dismissed the fact that he was half blood. So I, I don't know if that's the case. You can see, if you look at his belly, he's definitely hypo. We figured out, Frank Knott and I, that he's hypo, um, super onyx. So everything that he, his father, threw to that last litter that we showed you, I'm going to show you the mom in a second, was at least onyx. But we got some peculiar snakes, and you're going to see them in a minute, that just are too light. And too light for having just one hypogene in there. So I, I'm, I'm really under the, of the belief that he's either het blood or he's het Honduran T positive, or possibly both. So let's take a look at the um, clutch now. All right, here is uh, what I believe to be an onyx hypo, hypo onyx. It looks very light to me to be a hypo onyx, however, only. And there's a lot of disruption of pattern. Now, it could be had blood. There's only one copy of blood in this litter. We have a, a hypo super onyx that we bred to a triple het leopard, had blood, had Gilbert T positive. Now, the male also potentially could be het for Honduran T positive. So now I'm wondering if we might have a, a the Gilbert T positive and the Honduran T positive might be compatible with each other. We might be noticing some, some T positive in here because everything has to be onyx, okay, in the very least. If the, the female throws a leopard gene and we get the onyx with the leopard, we get what's called a mystique, which is an allelic combination of the two. Acts like super form. But this is obviously only onyx it's obviously hypo but it's very light and diffuse pattern i you know it could be the het blood acting up here um it's disrupting the pattern but it wouldn't lighten it this much i i'm really i'm really really wondering if there is some a t positive visual form showing through here let's take a look at some more babies and here's, a, here's an onyx. This would just be a, a typical standard onyx, but with disrupted saddles for sure, which probably tell me that this this, this uh, snake is probably also het blood. Blood in its head form disrupts saddles a little bit, and so that could potentially be, you know, disrupting some of the onyx, typical onyx we see. But this is a dark snake, and this is typical onyx looking. Look at the belly on that. It's got the red in it, so... This would be a single copy onyx for sure. Now here's another hypo onyx, what I believe to be a hypo onyx. Certainly looks like a hypo onyx. Can't be anything else that I can think of. And also probably has some head blood influence here. I would probably say this is head blood too. But it's much, much darker than our other hypo onyx girl was, or hypo onyx male was. Let's take a look at them. Let's put these guys next to each other. Look at these two guys. Hypoonyx, hypoonyx, I don't think so. Something else is going on there. I don't think that's blood. 
I think it's some kind of a T positive line or maybe an allelic combination between Gilbert T positive and Honduran T positive. It has to be. Now, let's go to our allelic combinations of leopard and onyx. This is what we call mystique. It's almost a black looking snake. This is leopard and onyx together, producing this, what we call mystique, the super form, very dark. You can see the red belly though, uh, because both leopard and onyx will have red in them. I don't believe that there's any hypogene in here. I, I mean, there could be potentially. This does look a little bit like the father who had the red belly. So this, we could be looking at hypo mystique here. I'm going to tell you why I think maybe it's not, but I could also tell you why I might think it is. So let's let's say, for instance, this was Hypo Mystique. Let's look and see a sibling of this one. All right, now this gorgeous, gorgeous female. Look at this. That's Mystique. So that's Leopard, one copy. Onyx, one copy. Hypo for sure, but way too red to just be one copy of hypo. And there's no super hypo here possible. What this is, I have no idea. The only thing I could think of would be that this, I mean, this looks, it looks almost like blood. I mean, it is possible. The female was head blood. The male, we didn't, we never proved out head blood, but I mean, this could be hypo blood mystique. Look at how much lighter this girl is how much red is exposed here it could be t positive maybe i don't know maybe it's the t positive combination we were talking about with the mystique and hypo look at how light this girl is this is amazing i you know i really i'm not really sure to be honest with you there's no way hypo mystique is going to be this this light colored and it just goes to show you when you have a lot of genes at play, you have to try to figure out what's going on. And I may have to, I may never figure it out till I breed her out, but she is amazing. You know, now that she's had a shed, I think that we're gonna, I think that we have either a, some kind of Honduran Gilbert T positive allelic combination or we, or we have blood here with, with hypo and in here because this is amazing looking. Very, very light. Now look at these two. This is the one I just showed you here, the really light one. And here is a hypo onyx. It's also really, really light, super light. Now, there's another thing to consider. There is some hog island blood, very small amount in here. The, the mother was 25% hog island, so which would make the babies half of that. So I can't even imagine that being too much of an influence, but it's possible. It's a polygenic trait. This, this almost looks T-positive, this this one right here. This could be a, like almost like a, almost looks like an onyx T-positive, you know? Look at how much red it also in the belly here. I'm gonna have to show this to my good friend, Frank Nutt, and see what he thinks, but these are crazy. We have some crazy, crazy stuff going on here that we're gonna have to figure out. Now look at these two mystiques right here. This one's dark, super dark. This one's super light. This one, red belly. I would almost say that's hypo mystique. This is hypo mystique, but it's got something else in it. And I keep just harping on this because I want to show you guys the difference. And it's become so apparent that this is just like a crazy, crazy thing going on here. This girl might be blood, which would prove that the father was het blood, even though he has not proven het blood in, in, in two litters so far this year. Or we got a Honduran T positive at, at, at work here, which would mean that Gilbert T positive and Honduran T positive are compatible with each other, if that's the case. All right, I wanted to show you this outside in the light. The difference between these three mystiques. This one is a mystique, which is leopard onyx. This one is hypo mystique, you see the reds in it. And this one is the one that we're not sure of. This is either blood hypo mystique, or it potentially could be the red gene hypo 
mistake. And red gene is something that usually you find in certain hypo lines that really lightens it up a lot. I, I personally think it's, this is, I think this is blood. I think we have blood hypo mistake here. And yeah, there's the three of them. Dark, lighter, lightest. And there's Logan Palumbo and Shayla Palumbo and Mama Palumbo and Jedi Palumbo riding his bike. You're on the Spider-Man bike? Yeah. All right. There's Aria Palumbo. All right, guys, that's going to do it for today's video. Um, thank you, Logan, for helping me out with washing tubs and pulling snakes. And I hope you guys like that Mystique uh, clutch. What a weird, weird, weird thing that's going on there and i just don't i just you know i'm not sure what the heck's going on it looks like there could be blood in there it looks like there could be honduran or some kind of t positive line in there or allelic you know combination of that obviously we got the uh, the onyx in there and the um leopard which is creating that mystique but we got a lot of of light light looking snakes in there that i just can't explain and so we're gonna have to keep watching them as they shed and we're gonna have to try to figure this out and i might have to wait until we breed them out actually to, to completely uh completely prove them out look we got jedi here floating around he wants to get in the action as well i got flies trying to eat me alive here anyway uh, and, you and now we are down that has his boot on oh yeah i got my oh, boot lightning. yeah we got lightning it's raining out here i got my boot so i got my cast off i'm actually walking a little bit on these things whoa you hear that thunder logan Woo! jedi just got scared he's running into the house all right guys you know what that means Hit that subscribe button. Turn on your notifications. Hit the like button. I'll see you back tomorrow morning. Bop, 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 bop.